Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're taking a closer look at the Megaloceros, also known as the Irish Elk. Its common name of Irish Elk is a bit misleading, as it's not an elk, nor is it only found in Ireland. The Megaloceros is a giant deer, in fact it is the largest known deer, standing 2.1 metres tall at the shoulder, and it's most famous for its huge antlers which could span over 3.5 metres across. It is related to modern fallow deer and was found all over Europe, Northern Africa, Northern Asia during the Pleistocene Epoch from around 700,000 years ago. The name Irish Elk stuck because of many excellently preserved specimens which are particularly common in lake sediments and peat bogs found in Ireland. It was believed that the Megaloceros died out at the end of the Pleistocene around 11,000 years ago unable to adapt to warmer conditions when the ice sheets began to retreat, but it seems that it did survive into the early Holocene, at least in some parts of the world. In June 2000 it was revealed that a near complete skeleton had been found on the Isle of Man that was dated to a little over 9,000 years ago. This skeleton was smaller than all Irish specimens, but that may be due to the natural processes that occur to populations evolving on an island. But in 2004, more skeletons were revealed. These ones were found in Western Siberia and were dated to around 5,000 years ago, some 3,000 years after the ice sheets had receded. There are many reports of Megaloceros surviving into historic times, but many of the more recent finds are a case of mistaken identity and are not actually specimens of Megaloceros at all, but of other species of deer, moose, even cows and horses have been mistaken for Megaloceros. In the 17th and 18th centuries, it was becoming increasingly apparent that many fossils represented organisms that were not known to survive anywhere on Earth. But to scientists who believed in the divine creation of the Earth and its life, this posed a jarring philosophical problem. Why would a good, perfect God allow any of the animals in his perfect creation to die out completely? Many scientists denied the reality of extinction and instead suggested that animals known only as fossils would one day be found alive in some unexplored part of the globe. The Megaloceros was believed by some to be an American moose, or by others as a European reindeer. It wasn't until 1812 that French scientist Georges Cuvier, who was studying the remains of Megaloceros as well as other species such as the mammoth, proved that these species were not the same as living animals, and therefore extinction was a real thing. One controversial theory put forward to explain the extinction of, Me of the Megaloceros involved its antlers. It was believed that the antlers grew so large that the adult would be unable to hold its head up and would get tangled up in trees. This idea has been dismissed as it seems very unlikely that an animal with such a disadvantage would survive to continue its species for hundreds of thousands of years. Deer antlers are not permanent structures, and after the breeding season the males always shed them so that they are left with two bloody stumps on the top of their head. After this a set of new antlers has grown, but they have to grow fast and large in time for the next breeding season. This requires a good supply of nutrients from plants, but the bodies of male deer will also use up nutrients that are stored in the bones to make up any shortfall in nutrients from the regular diet. This is where the climatic change at the end of the Pleistocene becomes a contributing factor as this signalled a change in the type of plants growing across Eurasia. These new plants not only began to replace the plants that Megaloceros usually ate, but they also had a reduced mineral content. This means that Megaloceros would have had to rely upon a greater amount of reabsorption of minerals from its bones to continually regrow its antlers. Without the necessary intake of minerals from its diet to replace these used minerals, the bones would steadily grow weaker and weaker. With such weakness developing in the skeleton, injuries like broken bones would become far more common, especially from strenuous activities such as running from predators or fighting other males. It is known that humans would have hunted them, and cave paintings of the Megaloceros have been found and give us a good idea of their coloration. They had a dark coat of fur with a white underside, similar to deer today. Well, that is all for today, and as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did, please consider leaving a comment and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time at the zoo.